My name is Tim Sutinen from PrivacyProShop.com and in this video I'll show you how to activate a Boost Mobile account anonymously. Anonymity and privacy are more important than ever now as Dish, the owner of Boost Mobile, just got hacked and the hackers likely took all of their customer information. If you have a Boost account in your own name, your personal information is now compromised and will be sold on the dark web for the highest bidder. Protect your good name. Be anonymous. You will need a Boost Mobile compatible phone and a SIM card. My recommendation is a de-googled Android phone with Graphene OS for more privacy. It's a bad idea to use a standard Android or any iPhone. You could also use a flip phone too. A word of caution about iPhones. They are truly spy phones. Apple follows your every move and there is no way to avoid it. Why try to be anonymous with the phone company and then give away your privacy to Apple or Google? Why is a Boost Mobile account desirable? That is because Boost Mobile uses AT&T as the network and AT&T has excellent coverage across the United States. Most other prepaid providers use T-Mobile, which has a much smaller network, especially in the rural areas of the U.S. Why should you have an anonymous phone account? Well, I went to BoostMobile.com and got greeted by this message. Quote, On February 23rd, we experienced a cybersecurity incident that has affected some of our internal communications, customer call centers, and internet sites. And then continues, On February 27th, we became aware that certain data was extracted from our IT systems as a part of this incident. It's possible the investigation will reveal that the extracted data includes personal information. End quote. So, in layman's terms, they have been just hacked. And say that the criminals have most likely gotten their customers' personal information. When your account is in a fictitious name and address, none of these hacks matter to you. When the phone company doesn't know who you are, they won't be able to track you as effectively. And the location data they share with other parties isn't as valuable as your true identity is not revealed. First, get an anonymous Visa card and register it if necessary. Buy a Visa gift card with cash. In order to use the card for online purchases, some cards require registration. Secure spend Visa cards don't require registration, but some others do. If yours requires registration, I have a video that has a lot more details about it. Link to it is in the description below. However, here is the short version. When you register the Visa card, please take a few precautions. Use LokiNet so the bank won't see your real IP address. A VPN is fine too, but it isn't anonymous. Another possibility is, go to, is to go to a coffee shop or some other public Wi-Fi. Secondly, use a web browser that avoids fingerprinting, such as LibreWolf or the Brave browser. Make sure you write down the address, name, phone number, email, and the PIN code that you registered it with. If you don't have an anonymous email address already, feel free to use any address at MailSnap.com. MailSnap is a free, inbound-only email service that my company, PrivacyProShop.com, offers. It is completely free and there are no signups. However, before using a MailSnap.com address, make sure you can connect to LokiNet and retrieve the email. Send an email there just for test and try to retrieve it over locking it. I have a video for that too. I'll put the link in the description below. 
If you are interested in full-featured anonymous email that offers both inbound and outbound email, along with automatic PGP encryption, please check out Nemo Mail. It's one of the services Privacy Pro Shop offers. You can find more information about it at nemomail.me. Your choice of geographic location when you register the Visa card makes a difference in the taxes you pay for the Boost Mobile service and in the phone number that Boost Mobile will assign to you. If you register it to Delaware, you will get a Delaware phone number. If you register it in Louisiana, you'll get a Louisiana phone number, and so forth. Second, purchasing the Boost Mobile plan. Boost Mobile has some advanced detection methods in place that prevent you from purchasing a plan or logging on to their website from a VPN, Tor, or LokiNet exit node, as most of those are in data centers. Boost Mobile seems to be blocking pretty much all data center IP addresses. To be able to activate the service, you will need to use a public Wi-Fi at a place like a coffee shop or a big box store. Also, if you're using a MailSnap anonymous email address, you will need to bring your laptop to the public Wi-Fi location, as LokiNet will not work on a mobile phone yet. Here are some additional ideas to help you beat their identification system. If you're using a Linux computer, you might want to use a Windows virtual machine and within the virtual machine, use a web browser as normal as possible, such as Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome. Also, set your display resolution to something that is normal, such as 1600 by 900, as the fingerprinting system Boost Mobile uses also sees your screen resolution. If their identification system sees that you have an oddball resolution like 1856 by 959 or something like that, they will know that you're using a virtual machine and combined with everything else that looks suspicious to them, they might just block you. So after you get it all set up, go to boostmobile.com and choose the plan you like. At this time, in March of 2023, Boost has plans as low as $8.33 per month for unlimited talk, text, and one gigabyte of data when you buy a year at a time. That's $100 a year for 5G cell service. Not bad. On the checkout page, put the same first name last name, address, city, state, and zip code you used when registering the Visa card. Then choose credit card for the payment method. Put your card number, month, year, and CVV codes in, as well as the email address and phone number you registered your Visa card with. Also, have Boost Mobile assign you a new phone number. It would be pointless to go through this exercise and then link your old phone number to it. Once you click Buy Now, it should work. Then, write down the confirmation number that the next page gives you. They also say that they have sent an email, but I sure didn't receive anything. Then, click to create an account. It takes you to a page where they welcome you to Boost Mobile. Enter the email you signed up with and click Continue. It'll then come and ask you to enter a password that you like, and then it does an email address verification by sending an email with an activation code to the address you provided when you paid for the plan. After a few minutes, I attempted to log into Boost Mobile, and it worked just fine. Another time when I was creating a username and password, it took quite a while and gave me errors. At one point, it told me that my account has been locked out for an hour. However, eventually it all worked. Third, activating the SIM card. Once I got logged in, I was able to activate the SIM card by typing in the ICC ID of the SIM card and the IMEI number of the phone I had. After a few minutes, I had a functioning SIM card 
and it worked great with my Graphene OS phone. I tried the same SIM card in other phones, including a flip phone, and all, again, it worked fantastic. I just popped in the card and I was good to go. Bonus tip, secure DNS. You will want to set the private DNS provider in your phone to something like Cloudflare or NextDNS to avoid showing Boost Mobile where you go on the internet. If you set it to Cloudflare, type in 1.1.1.1 in the private DNS provider hostname. For NextDNS, type in dns.nextdns.io. Concluding comments. Now, to be as anonymous as possible, you should not use the phone for making phone calls or sending or receiving texts. The fewer people that have that number, the better. Standard phone calls are subject to surveillance and SMS text messages are in plain text. Instead, use encrypted apps like Signal for calling those people who you need to call. Telegram also offers end-to-end -end encrypted calls, as does Session Private Messenger. One gigabyte of data per month is plenty enough for an incredible number of Signal, Telegram, or Session phone calls. And no, WhatsApp is not secure or private. Don't even think about using it. Uninstall it now. If you wish to hide your home location from the phone company, it is a good idea to turn on airplane mode in your Graphene OS phone a few miles before you get home. If you don't have a Graphene OS phone, make sure that you place your phone in a Faraday bag as most standard phones don't completely turn themselves off and therefore will reveal your location. And that's all she wrote. Have a great day.